Top 10 manga or manhua or manhua where MC starts off weak but becomes OP. In this manga or manhua or manhua, the main characters may start off as underdogs but they quickly rise to the top through their hard work, determination and unlocking hidden powers. Follow along as they overcome obstacles and defeat their enemies, becoming the strongest they can be. Whether you are a fan of traditional fantasy or futuristic sci-fi, you won't be disappointed by the power and excitement of these engaging stories. Get ready to root for the little guy as they rise to the top and become unstoppable forces to be reckoned with. Starting off with our number 10, Wizard of Arsenia. Our main character, Lee, also happens to be a maze. You have seen them wave their hands about before they whoosh. The trick is executed. Anyway, Lee is a common magician who discovered a magnificent wizard's quest. One must complete the quest with golden numbers if they want to become the greatest maze. I am now interested to know if Lee is traveling alone or not, and how, beginning with the weak maze and ending it. It's really a good manhwa where MC becomes from weak to OP as time passes. If you haven't read this manhwa, just read it. It's really worth the read. Part 2. Rise from the Rubble This manhwa is really similar to Full Time Mage, aka Versatile Mage, but more refined. This is one of those stories where monsters are invading the modern world, people get powers, and the MC gets a system. 10 years after the night of Starfall, City S was destroyed by the biggest recorded monsters outbreak in history. Zuofan, carrying the name of a traitor's son as well as being the most useless Starfall warrior reserve who ran away, awakened the super warrior system during a trap disguised as a raid. Since then, he has embarked on the road of success, rising like a meteor, all the while searching for the truth of his father's treason amidst the strongest opposition and gradually commencing on the thorny road of saving the world. Overall, it's a decent story. However, I was more interested in humanity versus monstrous type of story but this wasn't exactly what I was looking for. Number 8. My Apocalyptic Mess As a ruthless gang killer, Mu Chang regards completing tasks and protecting the safety of the gang's leader, eldest daughter, Pai Ji, as his only goal in life. However, the advent of the end times disrupted when life trajectory and Pai Ji unexpectedly turned into a zombie. Mu Chang gave up resistance for a while, intending to let Miss Pai Ji end her life. The arrival of the Doomsday system not only reshaped Mu Chang's right hand but also allowed him to gain power beyond ordinary people. What surprised him more is that he can actually control the eldest lady's runaway with his mechanical arm. In order to find a way for Miss Pai Ji to return to normal, Mu Chang and Pai Ji set foot on the path of survival in the last days. Number 7. Siren Wow, what a manga! It's been a couple of years since I finished reading Siren and it still remains one of my favorite series of all time. This manga has a variety of plots and interesting abilities and characters that will keep you reading, if for no other reason than to see how far a person with wicked psychic powers can go to evolve their ability. It puts a new shade to superpower genre and oddly enough makes you see time travel as a driving force instead of a slow, mind-boggling progression. The characters are all very well anchored in the plot, and each of them brings their own flair to the overall story. It may be difficult to understand the nature of the powers they have in the beginning, but through their own efforts and some helpful training side chapters, you begin to understand how they use and control their powers and why they take the shapes that they do. Overall, this story is a must read for anyone looking for a fast paced super powered mystery. Number 6. Berserk of Gluttony Fate Barbatos was cursed with the magic skill of gluttony, which leaves him in a constant state of extreme hunger. As a result, he has been treated like a garbage and his life has been a living hell. In an effort to avoid trouble, he takes a job as a gatekeeper. However, when a thief breaks in and they get into a fight, Fate activates the true power of his gluttony skill. Every time he takes a life, he can consume their skills and abilities, making them his own and satisfying his hunger. With the potential for unlimited growth, Fate embarks on a killing spree to prove his superiority. 
it's really worth the manga to read if you are looking for a weakly strong MC. Moving on to our number 5, Standard of Reincarnation. The greatest martial family, Samyon. Davin, a member of the Samyon family, is one armed martial soldier without the right arm. Despite the ridicule and contempt he got for only having a left arm, he surpassed, he surpassed the direct line of the Samyon family like a genius. However, he got betrayed by his family and parents in the end, thus meeting a poor end. But he was reincarnated. I have a right arm? He had a new family tradition, a naturally gifted body, experience from his past life and the god Yulian with him as well. After his reincarnation, everything changed and a new adventure started. This manhwa has pretty good story and the pacing of the plot is also perfect. Main character has a very badass personality and he is also kind of overpowered. Side characters are also written very well. Art of this manhwa is really good and it becomes even better during fighting scenes. Number 4. I have become the demonic ancestor. A young teenager accidentally takes over the body of the world's most evil demonic Dio Grandmaster. However, he loses his powers due to millennial limitations. Faced with the conflict and division within his sect, betrayal from everyone, and the seas of the orthodox sects, to turn the tide, he must complete the mission assigned by the absolute domain system and the talks are all to perform good deeds and to be a good person. This manhwa is really good with nice art styles and story plot and it's really worth the read. Number 3. Super Gene In the epic interstellar age of the future, human beings finally conquered space transfer technology. However, when people were transferred to the other side of the space, they found it was neither the world of the past or the future nor any of the lands under the stars. It's a mysterious world of shelters with countless powerful monsters. Human beings unshared in a thrilling leap in evolution and started the most brilliant new era under the stars. Killing the heavenly blood black beetle can obtain its beast spirit and eating his flesh can obtain 0 to 10 heavenly gene points randomly. The main character obtains a high rank monster soul by luck and also gets a cheat method to evolve low rank monsters and later kill them for more profit. The art and fight scenes are gorgeous. The story is also quite original. The only downside is that the translation is a little bit mediocre and the female lead is very annoying. Other than that, it's a decent system manual. Number 2. The Strongest Protagonist of All Time Zhao Ziutian has endured countless hardships involving supernatural powers. After getting caught in an explosion, he finds himself transported to a world where he quickly becomes a victim of the world's villains. Despite being continuously assassinated, kidnapped and robbed, Zhao remains determined to continue on his path of cultivation. MC has a good constitution for cultivation. MC personality is quite good. The cultivation theme is well executed and the world building is on point. Overall, it's really a good manhwa to read out there. And finally number 1. Return to Player Ten years ago, a group of gods turned everyone on earth into players of a sadistic game that forced them to kill monsters in real life or be killed themselves. Shehan Kim has already seen how this game will play out. Everyone in the world dies except for him. When he is given the chance to go back in time and start a second playthrough, Shehan is determined to change the course of events and beat the gods at their own game. This is really like an omniscient reader. Both are good, but I would have to lean on this side as two high ones are better. The main character is pretty great, not gonna lie, though his backstories are kinda bland. The other characters are funny and unexpected, and the plot itself is very good. Overall, just read it if you like those game system types of manhwas. Don't miss out on this must-read manga or manhwa or manhua, where the main character starts off weak but becomes overpowered. With their determination and growing strength, they will captivate and inspire you as they take on their challenges and come out on top. Be sure to check our top 10 list for best of the best in this exciting genre.